Hey everybody, I'm coming to you doing something a little bit different. Talking about something a little bit, a little bit, a lot of bit personal. So last time, if you know, I recently had a baby girl back in March. Well, shortly after I had her, I fell into a little bit of postpartum depression. And while I was going through that, I had a lot of negative self-talk. It didn't take me until this week. And it is, what, June the 28th right now, today? June 28th, 2019. And she was born March 9th, 2019. Okay, it's taken me this week to actually push myself out of it. Uh, during that time of my depression... I, like I said, I did a lot of negative self-talking, a lot of, no, excuse me, a lot of negative uh, self-talk, okay? Um, I felt like I wasn't good enough. I went in all aspects of life, really, except for one thing, one aspect, which was the mother. I did not feel that I was not good enough to be a mother, but I didn't feel good enough to be a wife. I didn't feel good enough to be a professional hairstylist you know I just had low self-confidence okay I'm just put it out there yes and a lot of people don't really talk about this stuff you get, you get some videos here and there but it's so it's so real and it's so true that once you've had a child your your whole body is different your mentality is different and some people's depression lasts longer you don't excuse me you may not get depression soon after your child is born sometimes it's a year later it just shows up differently in different people and it doesn't just show up as sadness even it shows up in anxiety i had anxiety i still have anxiety but not as bad um anger I was very angry towards my husband and just not feeling, again, good enough. Well, like I said, this week I took myself back and I, like I said, I claimed myself back. I am good enough. I'm a damn good person. I'm a good wife. I'm a great wife. I'm a great stylist. I am a wonderful person. And, you know, people can tell you that over and over again, but it's when you say it to yourself. That's what makes the biggest difference. The biggest difference. Because we are our own worst critics. But I just want to talk a little bit about what I was going through and telling you that I'm out of it. I'm getting myself out of it. I took the steps. And I feel better. And you know what? I'm going to dance about it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do a little happy dance. Happy dance. Ha -ha -ha happy dance. Because you know what? Honestly, it's still difficult. Because it's just my husband and I, where we are, we don't have any family. So, dealing with work and having a baby... It's difficult, but guess what? We get it done, right? And that's what we're always going to do. We're going to get it done. We're going to be happy about it, even if we have our sad times. Because I'm blessed. I'm powerful. I'm confident. I'm a damn good-ass woman. <laughs>